and the day, June 25, 2005. Exactly 55 years earlier, North Korea attacked South Korea, throwing the United States military into war once again. Four o'clock on a Sunday morning. South Korean villages awoke to a world suddenly filled with noise and plague. The communists, made bold by months of small-scale raiding across the 38th parallel, had finally launched their undeclared all-out war of conquest. Today, and a half a world away, Korean War veterans gathered at the National Cemetery of the Pacific to remember their war, a war that many have overlooked and possibly forgotten. The Korean War, yes, has been sometimes called the Forgotten War, but I take your presence here today as a very, very strong indication that it's really not forgotten. Bob Talmadge, a retired Marine and Korean War veteran, remembered what kind of toll the terrain and weather took on him more than a half a century ago. It was uh, August 2nd when we got into the Pusan perimeter, mm -hmm. and the terrain and the weather uh, was hot, hot and humid. Temperatures were up over 100 degrees. Uh, the Marines had hills because it was a hilly area, and that, that was a southern tip of the Taebaek Mountains, which stretched from there up into North Korea, actually up into the Yellow River. So we went from one extreme, then suddenly we found ourselves up in North Korea, and the temperatures at nighttime were down to minus 42. Yeah, you, you stop to figure, that's, uh, that's 70, 70 degrees below freezing. That, that, that's kind of cold. So you went from one extreme to the other, but the, uh, but the uh, Marines held up in, uh, under both conditions and uh, got the job done. Commander of the Pacific Command, Admiral William J. Fallon, in his keynote address, explained that the Korean War is still a conflict we fight today. Some might ask the question why we are, would commemorate the beginning of a conflict 55 years ago. And the simple answer is that it's really unfinished business. The 1953 ceasefire is really only an armistice. Regrettably, this conflict is still not formally ended. And today, we see continued division between the North and the South on the Korean Peninsula. Over 36,000 U.S. members lost their lives during the fighting. This commemoration today served to bring their memories and lives back to us 55 years later. Corporal Jeremy Vaught, National Memorial of the Pacific, Honolulu, Hawaii.